Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. Oh, God. <laughs> no comment. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. out the terminal after our last uh, mission on Sir Kesh. See if we have any updates. Alright, it looks like our effective military strength has gone up slightly. 687. Readiness still at 50. And we have been introduced to the official christening of Project Crucible in the last video. So what have we got here for N7 Special Forces? All right, we now have the Solarian STG operatives and we have the Project Phoenix defectors. Nice, look at that. You know, the Phoenix defectors are uh, powerful biotics. Okay, um, let's see. I think we needed to talk to Primarch Victus in private. Let's see if we can't do that now. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding. Okay. Not sure if we asked about the Palavin situation before. We'll try it again. How are things on Palavin? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. All right, the Krogan will help you. The Krogan will make sure that doesn't happen. Assuming you're successful with the cure. We will be. You have to be, Commander. I don't want to go down as history's last Primarch. Hmm. Well. All right, let's ask about this Turian ship on Tachanka. Your men that crashed on Tachanka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? Tarquin? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. Okay. Um, let's talk about after the genophage cure. The Solarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. Last stand? How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Hmm. 
Krogan make unusual allies? Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. Hmm. They have come a long way. All right, I think that's it. That's all. Of course, Commander. Okay, and... Didn't Rex want to talk to me also? Where is he? Hell of a show down there on Sirkesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. <laughs> I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlak Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. All right, well, let's talk a little bit more. Let's ask about after the cure. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. Of course they will. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time we'll be different. Let's hope so. Oh, <laughs> yes, really? I'd want revenge. If somebody did that to humanity, I'd want some payback. It's a vicious cycle. If we go after revenge, the Council will find some new way to put us down. It could be even worse than the Genophage. My people aren't going through that again. Let's ask about the female Krogan. Back on Sirkesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. Women have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. Mm. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. Wow. Let's ask about the Rachni. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? I watched the Queen die. They can't be back. I know. I was there. I don't get it either. But our scouts found something. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. Let's talk about Tachanka. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. All right, that's it. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but... Maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. Oh, God. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I miss this place. Ooh, Wish these I people. could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? The jokes, the jokes. Okay. So, we're getting more and more missions. Oh, more Krogan. What's this? Oh, I guess these are Rex's, uh, guards. Wow. He's got quite a few. And then we have Turian guards here for Primarch Victus. I really hope a scuffle does not break out on our ship. Look at this. They're just standing around looking at each other. 
You know that's not going to go well, people. Let's go. <laughs> it's, it's only a matter of time before somebody looks at, at someone the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anything, trainer? Commander, oh, we've got boy. new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy. Of map. course. All right. We've got to go and visit Caden. I'm sorry. Because th these things are timed, and if I don't talk to him, I might miss out. And I might have already missed out on the bonus power. Um, where's my... Okay, here's the relay. Look at this. It's lighting up again. Wait, this isn't good. I don't know if there was Reaper activity when, when we were uh, looking at Recover the Prothean Artifact before. I think I'm running out of time there, too. Alright, Maroon C, Prothean Artifact, Prothean Sight. Prothean Sight. Not sure what all these are. Prothean Sight again. Alright, and we've got... Turian Survivors. Cerberus Presence. Missing Scouts. I mean, the, the Reapers are really starting to... take over. More Prothean Sight. Alright. Alright. Where is the Citadel? Is it still safe to go there? Let's go. Alright, let's dock. What? I guess Alliance docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Headed to the hospital, please. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. That was quick. Alright, I see Thane is still okay. Oh, I can get more meta gel capacity. I'm really not even Thank using you for it. To Serta. How can we help you? I'm, I'll go ahead and All buy it. Who knows? I, I might get pinned down in a terrible situation and need it. What? A sorry scientist. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Okay, that was one of those missions we picked up by Eve's dropping. And we got those in our Grissom Academy mission. Alright, let's see how Caden is goodness, he is up and dressed. Caden? Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Uh-oh. Inspector Caden Alenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human Spectre. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony. Even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch on to. Hmm. Are you up for it? You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but I'll do my best. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. 
You're more than qualified. Can't think of a more deserving candidate. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Spectre Olenko. Stay safe, Commander. Nothing? No bonus power? Oh, come on. And he's got nothing else to say. Wow. Alright, we tried. Alright, let me see. I don't think there's anything else. Those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Okay. I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. All right, I probably have this mission already. Ismar Frontier. All right, I think we're done here. Yeah, I think I missed out on something, actually, people. Here at this kiosk, there should there was um, some kind of whiskey or something. I should have brought it, bought it when I first saw it and given it to Caden. So that may be why I did not tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Get the done? bonus power. I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Hmm. Interesting. I've never heard that conversation. Okay, I think we're done here at Huerta Memorial. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. Um... Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. Uh, I guess we can go talk to Aria at Purgatory while we're here. Now arriving at Ward Level Purgatory. Oh, is this man over here throwing up? This is what happens when you drink too much, people. It's not a good feeling. Oh, what's this? Oh, rapid transit. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Alright, so... That looks like it may be a mission. Alright, here we go. Purgatory. Those Cerberus bastards had no sleep. Oh my good, really? Another drunken person. I guess it's the war, you know? It kind of makes you want to drown your sorrows. But people, don't, don't let this be you. Don't let this be you. It's not fun. All right, let's go. That's my public service announcement for the day. All right, listen to that Ready music. To get this party started? Hey, now you're uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here. For the next 48 hours, I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thought. So, um, the bars are there. And, uh, I 
nice music. I'm just looking to see if there are anything that might become highlighted. Missions, conversations. This we just got. All right, I think these are just codex entries. Oh, wait, this man here looks familiar. Hey, Commander, nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it, Commander. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. Hmm. Is that the way you see me? You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure. But I fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But mm. I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Hmm, makes sense, I suppose. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy him around. It'll impress him. Hmm. All right, he'll do it. Good idea. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Interesting. Not bad, Shepard. That that was, was a renegade option. Before. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. All right. But I got Paragon reputation, even though... You know what? <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes video games just don't make any sense, and I guess we just have to go with it. Alright, let's go up another level. Nice. Is there a spot over here for Shepard to dance? All right. Got a nice two-step going on there. I know people think that he can't dance, but hey. All right, I think I see the former dethroned queen of Omega. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. Mm. Anytime. I think we're done here. I think so, too. Now Enjoy that's power. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. 
I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. And I'm sure you people know what the rule is here on the Citadel. As it was on Omega. Don't f with Aria. Alright, so let's ask. <laughs> what happened? How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. Hmm, payback is hell. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Uh-oh, not again, Shepard. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Hmm. Whatever it takes. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. All right. All right, now we've got the renegade points coming, okay. We'll just let this update, update, update. That is going to conclude our business here on the Citadel for the moment. Because there is so much going on in the rest of the universe. Or the galaxy. Um, I'm not going to Bryson's lab because I think this is going to trigger the Leviathan DLC. So let's return to the Normandy. And hope we don't have another dream. Please, not another dream. Oh, yes, thank goodness. All right, so we're back on board the Normandy. And I'm really not doing too well as far as getting these bonus powers. Krogan and the Trians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... Now that's about it. Edie, you got anything new for me? Edie. It is good you came by. Oh. I have questions about the genophage. Okay. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high. But the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? 
They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Alright, well thank you, Edie. Got some more reputation for that. Um, before we end the video, let's go and talk to the newly christened Eve. Commander, you've got a new message. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's for next time. Crew deck, please. And she should be in here with Dr. Chakwas. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard, we were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful, or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. Hmm. All right. He's trustworthy, Rex. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Hmm. All right, let's Maybe talk. With an inhibitor. No, 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 no. With the entire Eve. catalyzing process would fail. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. Hmm. Let's talk about the genophage. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, what stopped you? What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. So let's talk about after the genophage is cured. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Hmm. Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. Oh, 
All right. Uh, let's talk about her being a female shaman. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How do you become a shaman? How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. Hmm. That does sound brutal. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. And how did you survive? How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Hmm. Wow. Hmm, that's powerful. Okay, let's talk about Morden Solus. How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. Mm. I'm surprised he's singing, because I didn't spend enough time conversating. I meant with the crew in Mass Effect, as much as I, as much, in Mass Effect 2, as much as I make a big deal about how that's an important part of Mass Effect, somehow I didn't talk enough with the crew in, the, in Mass Effect 2. So we didn't get to the Gilbert and Sullivan singing part, yet he is starting to do it here. So I don't know how that's going to play out in the ending of the game. But anyhow, what else can we talk about? How about Malin's experiments? How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tashanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Uh, I saw what Malin did. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. Mm. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Solarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. Let's ask about the other females. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of T'Chanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Hmm. Good lord. Oh, this stuff is so emotional. Anyway, was it worth it? Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. All right, well, that's all. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Okay. So what we've got, what is this over here? Cybernetic tech implant? Is this new? I think this might also be part of EGM. Um, the Prothean beacon contained a pair of strange implants. 
embedded in the recipient's forearms, these implants can absorb some of the excess heat generated by a weapon, allowing a dramatic increase in the number of shots fired before the thermal clip burns out. Tailored to their designers, prolonged use will weaken the wearer's health, channeling the stored energy into the user's suit systems or biotics can mitigate some of the damage. Um, this kind of sounds dangerous. All right, we're not using those. All right, and so here we are with our bonus powers. What have we got? Only two. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Really? Okay. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. And in our next episode, it's going to be time for some action and some combat. This is Hill, and I'm out.